When you first sit in a Model 3, a few things are apparent. There's a giant screen in the middle, no driver instrument cluster, and no air vents, or at least in the traditional sense. But when looked at more closely, the air vents in the Model 3 have some very impressive engineering that would mostly go unnoticed. In the Model 3, you can see that there are actually two air vents. One goes up vertically and the other horizontally. According to the Tesla patent, the vertical facing vent is referred to as the bleed vent and the horizontal vent as the wave vent. The two vents are placed perpendicular so the second plane of air intersects the first plane of air. Also, according to the patent, the wave vent has a high aspect ratio because it has such a large width and narrow height. It states that vents with high aspect ratios have special fluid dynamic properties. If the aspect ratio is more than 8 times wider than it is tall, the stream can be considered a two-dimensional surface. The ability to create special fluid dynamic properties is how the vents are able to function. Without the use of the bleed vent, the wave vent's air would attach to the nearby surface and curve downward because of the Kawanda effect. You can see a similar effect here with water and a spoon, where the water direction changes based on the curvature of the spoon. The same effect applies to air currents. The vertical bleed vent then pushes specific amounts of air upward to change the angle of the wave vent stream, which can be controlled on the touchscreen. Here is a simple demonstration of this using paper and a fan. The paper represents the wave vent and the fan represents the bleed vent. As the amount of air from the bleed vent increases, the wave vent angle increases, pushing its stream upward. This is possible since the horizontal vent has a high aspect ratio and therefore can be considered as a two-dimensional surface so the impact will be similar to that of paper. To confirm this is actually how the air works in the car, here's the test I did with dry ice. As you can see when the touchscreen controls are pointed down, the wave vent clearly pushes the air out and the bleed vent has little upward force. This makes the wave vent air fall downward due to the Kawanda effect. However, when the touchscreen controls are pointed up, lots more air from the bleed vent is released to keep the stream upward. The effects of the bleed vent are apparent by covering the wave vent. The air clearly goes up when the wave vent is covered, however, when uncovered, the wave vent pushes the air forward. When you move the vents from left to right, it is controlled through gates, but unlike traditionally, the gates are electronically controlled and buried deep inside the dash. So anytime you move the air direction in the touchscreen, carefully calculated ratios of air pressure and special fluid dynamics are in play between two intersecting vents. Anyway, that's it for today. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.